Hi guys, welcome back to the Bookworms Buddy, and today I have a review for you. Uh, my review today is on Prior Bad Acts by Tammy Hogue. This is book number three in the, in the Kovac and Liska series. And I've got to say this is my favorite of the three. Now, the fourth one is The Ninth Girl, which came out last year, which is still in hardback. So as soon as I hit the paperback, um, I'm probably going to be getting it. Book one was Ashes to Ashes. Two was Dust to Dust. And this is Prior Bad Acts. I gave this book five stars. I could not put this book down. I was up till three o'clock in the morning reading it because I wanted to get to the bottom of this story. Um, this is kind of a disturbing, dark kind of mystery. Um, definitely more disturbing than the first two. Um, and reading this book, I literally fell in love with Sam Kovac and Nikki Liska. Um, in book one, in, in Ashes to Ashes, you don't see... The author doesn't focus as much on Kovac and Liska. They're there, but you see more um, Kate Conlon and John Quinn, which I loved them too. Um, and then in Dust to Dust, Kovac and Lisa really come to the forefront. And they really, you really start to, to get a feel for them. And you, and you really start to get to learn a little bit about them. And then in this one, it's full-blown Kovac and Liska. Um, and I can't help but love these two. Um, in this book, there are so many elements that I love to a good mystery. Um, and you find it in this one. Um, more than one mystery running in here. Um, some darkness, some disturbing plots, um, great twists. All in this book. So we start out on a, on a stormy night. It's, it's, it's pretty bad. Tornado weather kind of thing. And Stan Dempsey is a detective. And he's on a case and he's in a house and he discovers a mother and two children were brutally tortured and murdered. This affects Stan Dempsey where he can't get himself out of this this picture. It's in his mind. He has nightmares. He can't move forward. He can't come back to reality. He's just been scarred pretty much for life from discovering this vile criminal act. Um, it goes before the judge and our prosecuting attorney. All he really has is prior bad acts for for the suspect that they have in custody. They just know that he's the one that did this. The judge has to rule she cannot send this to trial on prior bad acts because there was no acts of violence and the jury was going to have to be the ones to um, decide the outcome of this case. Um, this of course upset the prosecuting attorney. The public defender, however, um, saw it as kind of a victory, although they can't really help what cases they get. I, I myself could never be a public defender, I'm just saying. Um, so because of the jury or the judge's um, decision, she puts herself in the middle of this twisted, dark tale, and her life gets threatened, and um, very soon on in the book, and Kovac and Liska are called to the forefront to crack the case, plural, cases, and to figure out what's going on and to bring the bad guy to justice. Um, Kovac and Liska are fast becoming two of my favorite detectives in mystery books, be just because of these three books that I've read. Um... Kovac is one of those detectives who's not perfect. He's had a pretty um I would say he's had a, a a a bad existence. It's not been roses and and whatever. Um but he doesn't succumb to uh those things that haunt him in his life. He uses that anger to bring the bad guys to justice. And he's a gallant detective yet he's rough and he's tough and he's gonna get in the bad guy's business 
And um, all the bad guys are going to have a taste of Sam Kovac. Um, he doesn't refrain or hold back. He gets in their faces and says, this is how it is. Nikki Liska um, is another great character. And she's pretty much um, Kovac's sidekick. What I like about her um, is her loyalty to their partnership. Um, she's always there for, for Kovac. And, and, and she's had a pretty rough existence, too. She's not had um, it easy, either. Um, her kids are her life and her job. And um, she kind of helps hold Kovac up, and Kovac kind of helps hold her up. And they, I just love how the author has them work together. They can, like, um, just persecute each other, but just out of... Of playing around that nobody else could understand how they can get away with the things they say to one another um so they're really it's the the biggest reason why i like tammy ho are those two um but this book has all the elements that i love in a mystery and i've enjoyed reading them and like i said this is my favorite of the three i've read so far and um, I just love, one of the things I love the most about it is it's not just one mystery going on. There's three or four separate mysteries going on in a book. And you're trying to figure out all of them. Yet the book is fluid and easy to follow. Um, all those mysteries don't even detain you from being able to follow each one. She's very clear and precise um, when switching over to different characters and different cases in the story. Lots of great twists I loved in this book. And um, I can't say that everything was real surprising, but some of it maybe was a little surprising. And it was just disturbing. Parts of it was just disturbing. And the villains in the book were also great. She has created a lot of great bad guys in this book. You get to go into the minds of these demented beings and just see what's going on and see how they tick. And the scariest part about it is that there really are people like this in the world. So it makes that story feel a little more real. Um, the characters are really believable and it's just a great series as a whole so far. Um, in the in this series, the cases don't carry over, but the characters' lives carry over. So you may get a character from the first book shows up in, in the third book. And if you don't read them in order, you won't understand who these people are. Um, <clears throat> I recommend this book to anybody who loves a great mystery. Um, mystery suspense is one of my favorite genres. And it's got that disturbing element to it. And that just makes the story that much better. So if you haven't read Tammy Hogue and you're looking for a really good mystery writer, check her out because you may find out you like her stuff. Because I had several of her books before I even read it. I'm so glad I bought them now because I absolutely love her writing style. Fluid, easy to read, easy to follow. And um, if you like mystery, you're probably going to like Tammy Hogue and this series. And that, my friends, is my review on Prior Bad Axe, book three to the Kovac and Liska series. Thanks for staying tuned, guys. If you liked the video, click like, please. If you read this book or any of the books in this series, let me know in the comments below what you thought of them. And we'll see you again in the next video. Bye, guys.